Um, yeah, uh, exciting game. Um, postseason just gets more fun and more fun. Our game is really growing, and that's a really good ball club, and it was fun to compete against them. And I think uh, for our upperclassmen to just kind of settle the team down and enjoy the moment was big. Um, so just really excited to survive and advance and be able to move forward. Take questions, please. Can you talk about how Allison handled the start and how Ashton did to close it out? Yeah, um, I think, you know, a lot of people's question marks for us in the beginning of the year was pitching and what we we're going to do with pitching. And, you know, I think it's taken us all season to gain some confidence as the pitchers and then the defense to be able to understand what they're capable of doing. And they've stayed in it, our defense has stayed in it. And uh, that was really big. You know, I think when you're battling experience and maybe some injuries here and there, you know, trying to get through there, so gutsy on her part. and. These guys are backing them up, and uh, that's what it is this time of year. It's just you know gritty and give everything you have and leave it all out there. And it was awesome to see Royalty get after a lot of pitches. I think it was 70 today or something like that. So that was big for her. Seven for you there in the six to be able to give this team the lead. Can you just kind of walk us through your mindset of stepping up to bat there and what that moment was like? Yeah, I mean, just like Coach just said, like it's a team effort right now. Our whole motto is 4-1, so only need everybody. And we kind of just really dive, dove into that. And Issa and I were just talking before and talking plans a little bit. And I was like, you got this. And she was like, yeah, and if I don't, you do. And so just kind of like the motto of going at it together and next man up, if I don't get the job done, you know, I have all the faith in the world that the person behind me is gonna get the job done. So just really committing to that and trusting each other makes you kind of be able to go up there and just get your swing off like I was able to do. Coach, we talk a lot about the youth of your team and the mm -hmm. strength that they have, but to have those senior leaders or the veterans, I guess, be able to shine today, how awesome was it to see them have that moment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I think that's the joy of earning a national seed and being able to play at home is, um, you know, you get to play in front of your family and friends and, you know, it's, it's a comfortable environment. And um, I know this one, you know, has been a null forever. So it's really cool to be able to to play here in, in front of her family and um, yeah just you know I think the moments that's what you train for all season long is to have moments and we have knock down drag out fights every now and then you know to get us through our mentalities and then you know we get a huge swing and, and make a big difference and that's growth and as a coach you can't play and these guys can and so when they can have their moment and I see her pounding the the base at third like you know they just work so hard for those and, and to be successful on that side it's just really cool feeling. Yeah you had some Interesting catches in the second inning. Um, catches. <laughs> yeah. all catches. Catches. Yeah. Here is catches. Yeah. I know. Um, so one, you kind of stuck your glove up, and it kind of like it seemed like you kind of like fell in the glove. Was that uh, as your former professor? You got to tell me the truth. Was that like kind of luck, or or did you have that all the way? I mean, it might have been a rocky start, but <laughs> in the end, I caught the ball, and um, I think that was just mindset. Maybe it's rocky in the beginning, but you just have to keep going. Give your whole effort, um, and yeah, that was really good. What was Paige Agul doing to keep you guys kind of off balance early in that early in the game, um, in the first five innings before you kind of got to her? Yeah, um, I think coming in, um, it was pretty off speed. She was kind of keeping us off balance, kind of blending pitches and mixing pitches. So I think as an offense and as a team, we just had to commit and find a way to commit early or find a way to execute a plan. Um, I think we were struggling with that a little early um, in the game, but obviously towards the end, we just kind of came together and tried, as Devin said, her and Issa just talking about it, just talking through what you're seeing, talking through like a plan, and then trying to execute that plan. Devin, Coach had mentioned you've been a Noel your whole life. If you think about being a little kid and growing up or coming to games and just getting to have this moment and to lead your team here in the winner's bracket of the result, is this something you imagined when you were younger or what is this full circle moment kind of like for you? Um, I mean, yeah, I think, you know, every little girl and just being able to look up to people who have played here before and know that they've kind of laid the foundation to let me have this opportunity and it's all I'm trying to do for the people coming up behind me is um, leave it better than I found it, lead them in a way that, you know, they're going to be confident and when I leave here, they're going to say I left it, you know, in a good spot and they're confident in what they can do. So it's full circle. Um, I would say more so just from the, my time, just like beginning here to now, kind of the leader I've evolved into and the way I can lead my team and speak to my teammates um, is super special to me and really tried to dive into that this year. So that is definitely a full circle moment for me that I'm proud of. Moni, what impresses you about UCF? Um, I mean, I think that they got challenged a lot this year in a new conference and 
and um, I think they've stayed the course. Um, you know, we're pretty familiar with UCF, and um, they're very talented, very senior heavy right now. So, um, you know, I think when you have a lot of seniors willing to, to leave it all out there on the field, it becomes a challenge at times, and it's going to be a it's going to be a, a dogfight tomorrow. I mean, they're they're really um, gritty, experienced, a ton of experience. They got depth in the circle. Um, but that's what this time of year is all about, and um, you know I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Any more questions? Quick one.